Sir Humphrey Gilbert, Our Forgotten Hero. Sir Humphrey Gilbert? Sadly, most of us don't know who he was. Sir Humphrey Gilbert was a favourite of Queen Elizabeth I. He was one of the great explorers of the Elizabethan era. He was half-brother of Sir Walter Raleigh. In Canada, they print stamps with his portrait on them. Sir Humphrey Gilbert was the founder of the British Empire. Sir Humphrey Gilbert lived with his wife and seven children on their estate at the Abbey Gatehouse, Minster on the Isle of Sheppey, Kent. Born in Devon in 1539, Sir Humphrey Gilbert was a Member of Parliament for Queenborough. He was a famous explorer, a notorious soldier and England's first coloniser. He was far-sighted, brilliant, creative and the first to propose the idea of a Northwest Passage between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. He promoted the setting up of English colonies on the North American continent. Sir Humphrey was the half-brother of Sir Walter Raleigh. He studied navigation and military science at Oxford. He was a soldier in the service of Queen Elizabeth I. In 1566, he proposed a voyage in search of a Northwest Passage and a route to China. He planned setting up a colony in America, halfway between England and China, but instead Queen Elizabeth sent him to Ireland. In Ireland, he brutally repressed the Irish people, but never gave up his dream of finding the Northwest Passage. On the 11th of July, 1578, letters of patent were granted by Her Majesty to Sir Humphrey Gilbert Knight for the inhabiting and planting of our people in America. Sir Humphrey Gilbert's first voyage to start a colony in Florida took place in the same year and was a failure. This was due to poor discipline and the inferior quality of the colonists, many being criminals and pirates. In June 1583, now almost penniless and having mortgaged Minster Gatehouse and all its lands to Queen Elizabeth to finance his expedition, in command of five ships, Sir Humphrey set out from Plymouth with 260 colonists. On August the 5th, 1583, Sir Humphrey Gilbert claimed Newfoundland as the first colony of the British Empire and by so doing became the founder of the British Empire. Sir Humphrey set up a tent from where he read the Queen's statement and took possession of Newfoundland in the name of Queen Elizabeth. He also claimed a large expanse of land for himself. A wooden pillar was set up at St John's with the royal coat of arms attached to it. This was the foundation of the British Empire. At once, chaos reigned. Governor Gilbert simply could not control his colony. Mutinies broke out. A ship, the Swallow, was sent back to England containing the malcontents and the sick. Sir Humphrey's fleet was exploring the coast of Canada when their premier vessel, the Delight, ran aground and broke up. With poor equipment and insufficient stores, the remaining two ships returned to England. On the afternoon of September the 9th, 1583, a storm raged, but Sir Humphrey sat calmly on the deck of his tiny ship, the Squirrel, with a book in his hands. He called out to the hind, we are as near to heaven by sea as by land. At midnight, the watch on board the Golden Hind saw the lights of the squirrel vanish suddenly and shouted, The general is cast away. Sir Humphrey Gilbert and his ship had been devoured and swallowed up by the sea. Sir Humphrey Gilbert had planted a seed which would grow into the powerful British Empire. Lady Gilbert suffered great poverty and retired to her family home at Maidstone. Queen Elizabeth repossessed the gatehouse and became Lady of the Manor of Property on Sheppey.